Hey Bonafides and YouTube otherwise, it's me, Seaman Ted, and I'm back. I'm back with another video. And if you're in here, good to go. Baby, opt in for the chance to get a properly bona fide TV one month gift membership and access to exclusive parts. So, who told y'all that? I hope I ain't gotta pay for it. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, I see somebody came in paying their dues off top. I wanna see who it is. I wanna see who that is. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. What's going on, y'all? Listen, I know it's after 12 o'clock, but this is still for the 12. Miss me. Miss me. Is it the, wait, the 12? Is it the 13th? The 13th. This is still for the 13th. We are in Jump Start July. That means I'm doing a video every day. Okay, for that mine, for that, for that 9, 9, and 2,000, we're getting into the video. Okay? Every day. So. Y'all been blogging. And this, you know what? I am going to be a blogger. I'm going to have to teach myself to be a blogger. Because I like to intake my places that I'm at. And I be videoing and stuff and trying to make sure I do it right. And hanging out the window and videoing and stuff. And la, 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 job. Oh, I got a headache. Hold up. Oh, oh, my head hurts. My head hurts. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't do confederate. I don't do confederate. I don't do confederate, but I see a bunch of confederates, okay? Whew. Anyway, so we're rounding up to day two in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, it's been a nice visual effect, a nice historical effect, but now it's time to say goodbye to all these racist spirits. M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because I don't love you. <laughs> Wait, we'll see you soon. Why? Because I don't love you. Okay? M-O-U-S-E. Y'all remember when you used to watch Mickey Mouse Club? I used to love Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, I am really falling in love with me, okay? Like, I am really, like, um, pleasing to my own soul nowadays. I love it. Um, and interesting, I am. I was just sitting here, like, seeing different places that I've seen in Charleston before, like on TV. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I remember this and that, whatever, whatever, here and there, not too many places, you know, or that reminded me from a movie that I watched, but it looked like pretty much the same today when we were in um, Charleston. And I was like, y'all, I need to get, I need to find me some old musicals, okay? I really do. I need to find me some old musicals and just dive in and have fun and stuff like that. Because, girl, it was so many column buildings, stairs, you know, this, then the other, you know, I was like, I need to do my, my tap dance up and down these stairs, you know, something like that. See, it's just so beautiful here. It's so freaking beautiful. Oh, here we went eight. Let me show y'all the remnants. Hey, India, let me show the, the remnants of what we ate today. I'm getting juicy again. I gotta get this weight off. I said, oh Lord, this is the last thing I need to do is come here and be eating. Uh-oh, census, uh, answer.com, so I got a census record here. I don't know if that's right. I'm not mad at that. Look at this. Hold on, I'm going to show you. He was at this restaurant called... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I'm here. Okay, this is um at a restaurant called Hyman. Damn, I didn't broke. Look at how wide it is. I didn't broke it. The tail to put it in here. Yes, honey, that's a flounder. This bad boy was cold. Do you hear me? Mmm. Oh, let me turn the light on so you can see. Oh, all, all the lights is gonna come on and on. Mmm. It didn't have the head on it, but golly bones. 
Do y'all eat fish like this? Do y'all eat fish like this? This flounder is good and it fried up real good. Yeah, y'all gotta be wary of when you never have whole fish. Mm -hmm. You gotta be wary of when somebody keeps talking about the same dish over and over, like your server. We well, should get this, you should get this, you should get Well, I got the dish that they kept um, saying get, but one thing you can do to piss me off and dissatisfy me. Shit. Is to have a bunch of manufactured shit on the plate. Oh, yeah. It was good. Oh, well, shit that was frozen and you had to heat up. Not shit. Not shit. Okay. Damn. I need to stop. It's so good. Don't be talking about this the favorite of the house. But everything on this, I'm gonna eat the back of all this meat in the back later on tomorrow in the morning. Don't be telling me no damn. You know, if you're a restaurateur, you don't sit up and have your what we're known for. Be no shit there. You didn't heat it up. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. I told them to take it right on back. It was some fried grits. Y'all ever had that? It looked like a perfect square. It looked like a perfect square of a fried hunk or something, but it was fried grits. All right, absolutely no. Absolutely no. What is this water bottle? Damn, I didn't. Oh, there it is over there. Good, because I need to take another pill. Hold on. Yeah. Let me flip this back around. Don't need to be seeing what's on the ground. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, um, what did you say? I was just about to say that fish would be good with some grits. Yep. But I had a whole different platter. It was grits with shrimp, some fried. No, it was fried grits in a perfect square. Mm mm. Some sauce with cheese and bacon. And I was like, the sauce tastes like it was powder. Powder. And they put water in it mixed. I don't want to eat nothing that's add water. I don't do add water. Okay? No, indeed. But the food, for the most part, has been good here. Earlier at lunch, um, some people we were with wanted to go to... Jim and Nick's. What? Jim and Nick's is in Atlanta. Like, why in the hell would we be going to Jim and Nick's? <laughs> Let's see. Mm -mm. See how now I don't like that? Mm. You don't like that air water shit? Me either, girl. Go look at my makeup. I'm so sick of wearing makeup. I don't think I'm wearing it tomorrow. I'm going to do eyebrows and some mascara. But I feel like I need makeup balls with the short hair. But there it is. There's your girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Ciao. So I always thought it was offensive to ask black folks to bake Geechee. When I was growing up, I know somebody told me, somebody who used to come and visit their grandparent 
when we were uh, kids. She was the same age as me. And she lived in, not Beaumont, um, Buford. But she, her parents lived in the town that I grew up in. Or her grandparents. And um, I could have swore she told me it was offensive to ask people that. Nope, just do brows, mascara, and a cute lip. Okay, yeah. Because I'm about to be done with it. All this makeup and shit. Mm -hmm. So, um, we, I ran, we ran to some folks from, um, South Carolina today and I was tripping because, um, like some folks that's from like not Charleston from black folks. Okay. And they were so friendly, but one lady had a good old accent and I was like, is it a person to ask you if you're Gucci? She was like, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Child, let me tell you something. I really ain't got much time. What y'all talking about today? Look, I'm just in here chilling. I'm trying to get my video in for today. Uh, uh, oh, shit. I'm really like, I feel like I done went over 80 bridges because we done been to so many islands. Um, You, you kind of feel, you don't feel like you're on the island though because it's like peninsulas, but they're calling them islands, but they're they're a peninsula. That's, that's two different things. But there's so many, it's a lot of bridges here. I'm looking forward to hearing about your trip. Yeah. It's, thank you so much. It's so many bridges here. It's like, oh my gosh, and they get high up in the, in the sky and shit. And like, butterflies in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Oh, great. I used to love that song. We'll be like, ooh, da, da, ooh, da, ooh, ooh. the music in the beginning. Oh my gosh. Butterflies in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. I can go anywhere. Thank you. Girl, they used to my shit. Mm, 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 mm. Child, I gotta go home and get my nails done and my toenails done. I didn't have a chance to do it before I came. Good thing, ain't no judging. Oh, I'm tired. At some point today, we came home and took a, took a, um, took a nap and it stormed. And y'all, I don't know, but I feel like the, uh, the, thunder rumbling and the storm was like off the change oh look at um brian i like wait do 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 no that's doug that's doug that's doug <laughs> that's the other one do 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 boy don't get me started with that do 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 boy that is my shit and then what, what what else was another song? Okay, let's let's just um uh, flashback real quick. That's what we'll do on this video. Um what was another song? All of the Cosby show themes were the bomb. I really didn't like that one with the white background that was kind of tropical and it was like this behind each other. I didn't really like that one the like that wasn't my favorite of the Cosby show. The original one and all the other ones in that white one when they were doing all that dance, and I was like, well, they always were dancing, but the white one was my least favorite. Um, they should have some words to me. But I get the jazz thing. But I felt like the country so needed words. Oh, Different different World was another one. Oh, baby. Different World one. Oh, you couldn't wait to go to college. And I went to a PWI. They wasn't nothing like that. Did I tell y'all I was arguing with some motherfuckers about PWI and HBTU the other day? Pepper Anna, what's your show? Every day when I'm walking down the street. Well, every day when you walk down the street, what? Pepper Anna. Bro, how old are you? I don't even know who Pepper Anna is. <laughs> Pepper Anna. And then, hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Uh, people say we monkey around. That's too busy saying. Oh, we're too busy singing to pull anybody down. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, with the monkey. And then the Patty Duke show. But their cousins. You know, I did my Nick at Night. This shit was on way before my time. But Nick at Night used to bring it back. But their cousins. I did it for cousins. See, y'all, yep. Yeah. 
where is my folks that didn't grow up with a bunch of black folks? Well, I grew up around a bunch of black people, but went to school with mixed and mixed schools. Okay. I haven't forgot that I didn't start remembering songs. I don't even know what y'all talking about. What you mean, yep, you did, um, India? I was a Disney person myself. Okay, so let's talk Disney, nigga. I wasn't a Disney person, so you might get me on that. Let's talk, let's do Disney. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ron, Roni, uh, oh, I'm trying to get my three son. It was like a melody with my three son. Damn. Give me the word. Give me a couple words. Oh, now I watch Raven. I watch Raven with my daughter. So you okay, but see you're not you're not you way older than my brother my daughter though. But um because when Raven was out, my daughter was like from like two to six or seven when Raven was out. So you must have been oh it wasn't no words. I thought it was my three sons. I thought they my three sons at the end, something like that. Mm -hmm. That's so Raven and pr ooh, Proud Family. Ooh, you and me will always be tied. Oh my goodness, don't even get single there and I. Never think we're never single there and I. Do I do I do whatever do. A family, a family, Proud Family. Oh, I lost my boy. They'll push your buttons to make you want to holler. Okay, don't even get me started. Proud Family used to go. So, oh. No, I don't know. Give, give me a break. And I didn't watch that a lot. I didn't. It didn't take to take to me that much. Um, but the facts alive. The facts alive. The facts alive. The facts alive. What? The facts alive. It's all about you. Yes, I don't even give me start. <laughs> 227. Oh, how did 227 go? What's the word of 227? Cousin Skeeter, Keenan and Kel, child. I was grown. Well, maybe not Keenan and Kel. I might have been in high school for that. So I, I'm not saying like I was grown, I was grown, y'all was kid. I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying it like I can't recall it. Baby, Good Burger was I saw. Look, y'all talking about Keenan and Kel. That's after they had got famous. I'm going back to Good Burger. Home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Okay, when we was all in love with Kel. Oh, you leaving, Roni? Why you leave? What y'all got to tell me the name, the, the some words to it. Yeah. How y'all gonna sit up there and say, uh, Keenan and Kale? Girl, I don't remember no Keenan and Kale. Do y'all remember all that? Oh, 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 this is all that. This is all that. I was almost too old to be watching all that. But y'all, all that was my shit. Um, you can't do this on television. You can't do that on television. Double Dare, bitch, Double Dare. Do y'all remember Double Dare? Kenny and Kel show was before Good Burger, I guess. Oh, okay. I don't remember that then. All I remember was before Good Burger. We said we went to that movie so many damn times. Maybe I do remember it, but I didn't watch it all the time. Cause see, this back in the day when folks and kids didn't stay at home and, and sit and watch TV day long, day all day long. Saturday you could get us in the TV all the time. But other than that, we was outside. Looky there, I saw that you was in Montgomery. I hope you have a good time. No, you know you love a casino, DJ. Where Brian at? Tell me he did Disney, Disney and didn't even give us no Disney, but Raven. What about um girl? Look, I just took me down. It used to come on on Saturday night. What did? Let me see. Oh, Keenan and Kel. Oh, Saturday night, baby, please. Uh uh. What would I do on? What years? What year do you think? Are you still here, Ryan? Come on with the Disney. Let's get on the Disney TV show or uh, movies. Polly coming home. Okay. Was it? You're my sweet little angel eyes. Do and they start tap dancing up and down the stairs. Do 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 do. Y'all remember that? And it was um it was Rudy from the Hustables. It was Brandon Adams. Okay, that was on the the black boy from the Sandlot. It was Felicia Rashad. Come on now. And it was the Black Pollyanna, baby. Ooh, ooh, girl. I grew up in a good time. Ooh, growing up in the 90s, and in the late 80s and the 90s, baby, please. I ain't trying to hear it. Boy, 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. What else was on Disney? I went into that uh, Brandy. Now, the girls of my time love Brandy. They had all the Brandy dolls and the Barbies and stuff. I wasn't in the, I wasn't in the Brandy like that. I was definitely into, what is this? Stay down. Yes, Brandy, we're going to, I want to be down. The boy is mine. And one to the, two to the, mo to the, each of We watched Moesha, baby. Okay. Hey, Sada. Kenan and Kel, all that, and some other shows. It was, girl, um, let me tell you, when all that came on, you're like, oh, 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 this is all that, this is all that. With Amanda Bynes and them, child, please. She was on all that, right, Amanda Bynes, when she was real young. Ooh, I used to love that. And then what was a, uh, in love and color, I do what you want the likes to do. In love and color, I do not do. Yeah, honey, all of that, boy. When that stuff used to come on, you get high. We'd be dancing from the TV and stuff. <laughs> all that is on Netflix. I'm going to check it out. I like Smart Guy Moesha, Sister Sister. I like Sister Sister. And you know, me and them, I think we're all like within a couple weeks apart. Me and the twins, I think we're all the same age. Wait, no, no, they're a year ahead of me. So when I came out of high school, but on TV, they were graduating from high school. But I think, I think they're a year ahead of me. I think they graduated in 97 because I graduated in 98. It's something where we're, either our birthday is the same or we graduate the same. That's, that's, that's what we got on the twins, Tia and Tamara. But I used to love how they dressed and stuff like that, even though the girl, we didn't dress like that at where I was from, but, um. And I did try like the Blossom hat, which I know about Blossom. I had all the Blossom hats and uh, the sunflower clothes. Like, now, y'all know these people keep throwing all these 90s parties and stuff and they dress in like 2004? They dress in like Cisco and all them and shit. Like, yeah, they did have, I don't know if the Thong the Thong was out in the 90s. But yeah, Beauty is Her Name was out and all that shit like that, but... And I remember the boys had them big at them boys from the East Coast that came on the base. They they came with their parents in the military. They had them goggles and stuff like that. But I keep seeing people having 90s parties and they're not dressed 90s though. Not to me. Even though I was raised in Oklahoma, we still knew what was the hit and what was stuff was getting looked at and stuff like that. See, I was a kid back then. You was a teenager. Yeah. And I'm looking at some of this shit and I'm like, some of the stuff they got on, it's not 90s. It's early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all okay, need to come with the jean jean shirt collars with the, uh, what is it? Yeah, these 90s freak knit parties are given early 2000s, okay? Um, you need your collar and your, and your cuffs need to be denim, okay, bitch? You need to have platform sandals and then black patent leather platform shoes, okay? Do you remember the show, The Torkelsons? It was early 90s. I kind of, the name sounds familiar. Rap City, The Basement, 106 and Park were my shows too. 106 and Park didn't come on to, to the 2000s. Rap City did, child. Girl, when I used to rap my homeboys and stuff, boy, we used to practice our interview for Rap City and shit. <laughs> yeah, hockey jerseys, uh, starter jackets, um, high-tech boots. That's all the 90s. High tech boots, um, British Knights. You know, come on, let's be for real. You know what I'm saying, bitch? Like, uh, overalls, turn backwards, or later on, we didn't do the backwards no more. Um, like I said, the sunflowers, um, plaid shirts with the denim on, on the collar and the cuff and shit like that. that. Um, the late 90s, you might be, get, be able to get into them. Fila. Fila. I don't care what nobody talking about. Fila. Fila. No, baby. It ain't, it's Fila where I'm from. Who used to say Fila? Who used to say Fila? I don't remember the 90s that, that much. I was born in 95. That's okay, baby. Let me tell you about it. Swishy sweatsuits. What is that? That sound like that velour. Velour was in the 2000s. Cross colors, bitch. Um, Perry Ellis. Um, triple fat goose. You know what I'm saying? Well, triple fat goose. People still wear that to this day. Triple fat goose. You know what I'm saying? Um... 
academics was all them uh the diplomats uh dip set and all them and shit that that's late 2000s for us at least you say fila mm -hmm, fila um uh what's the things called k-swiss no yeah k-swiss was in the 90s because we had some in 97 yep k-swiss Come on, you know, let's get for real. I'm talking about the hard shell, okay? No, the sweatsuits that make the squish on. The Lord don't make a squish on. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about a windbreaker suit? Okay, come on, windbreaker, what you know? You said you hate K-Swiss. <laughs> Star jackets with everything in Florida, baby. They was in Oklahoma, too. And I messed around and got an Apex jacket. My daddy wouldn't get me a Star, star jacket. He was like, I already been to the Cowboys training camp, and next year they're going to be wearing Apex. You need you wearing this Apex jacket. Da -da -da -da. I was like, y'all got me in a fake starter jacket. Da -da 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 -da. And people was clowning and shit. The next year, the whole NFL went to Apex. My daddy was like, get, get the fuck out of here, child. I already knew I put you on game. So then my jacket was cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't even get it, okay? Uh, the aviator bomber jackets and shit. That no, that's late. Well, that's late ninety eight. So I remember because we was in the club and dudes used to wear that Eastland shoes, eBay, not or Eastland, um, Eastland magazine. What they call Eastland? What was the other um magazine? Was eBay was a magazine at one time? Wasn't it? It was another magazine that the boys used to get their tennis shoes out of. Windbreakers, okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the windbreaker suit. Yeah, and it'd be like pink and teal and all these crazy colors and the crazy letter uh, uh, squares and shapes and shit. East Bay. There we go. Okay. Yes, East Bay magazine. The colorful silky shirts. Yes, yes. Kind of Versace esque now, but yeah. My me and my brother always had a fresh pair of Jordans and Nikes. Because you're always from the 2000s. Because wasn't nobody doing no Jordans like that. Air Jordans, like, real quick. You know, wasn't nobody. It wasn't. To, I don't know where you're from. Maybe in, like, the East Coast and the cities. Maybe Jordans was, like, pop, pop in the late 90s. But in the 90s, 90s? Mm-mm. In the, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. No. Timbos, yes. Timbos, fresh, wheat, colored. Timbos, get into it. Okay. Uh, LRG. What y'all know about LRG, bitch? Okay. Uh, oh, let me think about what the men used to have on. Um, you would have a link, a link watch, and a link, a link bracelet on the other wrist. Girl, I hate that shit. Back in the day, it was tight. I can't stand it no more. I'm from Georgia. My brother was born in '88, so everything he wore, they bought me. Oh, okay. But we didn't wear no damn Jor no Jordans back in the day. Nikes, but didn't nobody really wear no Jordans in the in the nineties like that. And it wasn't no it was and if they were it wasn't no thing like that. Everybody had a pair of Air Jordans. Well I didn't, but the boys did. But it wasn't like, oh I gotta get the next Jordan. And they weren't doing all that shit till the two thousand. Everybody put in the chat what year you graduated from high school. I'm ninety eight. I'm ninety eight. My brother's ninety nine, my sister two thousand one. Um now up here Jordans were it in the late nineties. Tim's, aka Butters, I remember that. Uh, shilling coats, rope, and hair and bone chains. Come on, yes. Real gold door knocker earrings, yes. And a gold open front. I still ain't got my open front yet. Uh, really, Martin Lawrence always wore joints on his show. Really? Okay, well, go ahead. Well, then maybe it was like that in Detroit and shit. 2009, Chantel's 2000. Okay, she with me. Nessa's 2000 with me. Keith is 03. You just missed me, Keith. But yeah, y'all be on some other shit. That's that millennial shit right there. That 03 shit. Anything after 2000, that's millennial shit. <laughs> Body Black, I'm talking about 2013. Go somewhere and lay it down, please. That's what I need you to do. Okay? <laughs> Go somewhere and lay it down. I appreciate you. 2013, nigga, I was 33 years old. <laughs> I was 33 years old living in Atlanta, child. Lord. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. It's so, I love that, though. I love it. I love that meeting of the, the ages and the cultures and stuff like that. Yes, yes, yes. What else? What else? I still got to get my um open face gold before I leave up out of here. I got to get my open face gold. I already got my teeth straight. And then I'm going to get my open face gold. 
You graduate college in 14? Okay. I'm talking about high school. You graduate college two, uh, 10 years after me. Oh, high school is 2009. I see yours. Okay. Oh, ooh, child. Mm, 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 mm. What else, girl? We got to bring it back. What's the food and everything? Um, Domino's Pizza was the it for us. And at late 90s, Papa John's rolled up in there. In the 80s, it was Pizza Hut. 80s and early 90s, Pizza Hut. Then it was a, a long Domino's for years. And then late 90s, it was, uh, what's it called? Papa John's. The 90s were it, though, especially the 90s men's swag is unmatched. Oh, my gosh. Even the young men had swag, but, like, in high school and shit like that. And everybody named Maurice was fine. I remember, remember if you was Maurice or Keith, you was fine. What about, oh, AOL, <laughs> MS DOS, yeah. My dad always wore Fly Ralph Lauren and Aza polos. Uh-huh, yeah, back in the day. With them, we, them old old man, like if you looked at the patterns, they looked like old man stuff from back then. But back in the day, the patterns was popping, honey. Um, and the and the socks, okay, well they coming back now. They got hoochie daddy shorts. The the socks that come right right mid chin is back now. Go over to five a. She hot. Child, look at this shit here. All right. Um. Pizza Hut when they had buffet salad bar. Baby, remember when Wendy's had a salad bar? Your Pizza Hut when you could make your own personal pizza for your birthday and shit. Come on, Pizza Hut. Oh my gosh. And then showbiz pizza where a kid can be a kid. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't care now about that. Windows XP. Oh my goodness, yes. Shit, one of my, I have one of, um, one of my um computers, I didn't get rid of XP until like 2010. <laughs> One of my home computers <laughs> was your first cell phone, probably a Nokia. And I had a beeper. I had that uh, teal beeper. Yeah. What was your first cell phone? Let's see, yeah. The most popular perfume at my school was Tommy Girl. Yes. Girl, do, well, listen. I know y'all got the clown. I did not get rid of my 1998 Tommy Girl that I got for graduation until 2021. I'm so nostalgic, y'all. Oh my gosh, I couldn't do nothing with it. I could not let it go. I just let it go. That bitch was 20, 23 years old. I didn't spray it. I just always kept it. Yeah, Wendy's had a salad bar. I worked it when they had a salad bar. Mm-hmm. This isn't the this isn't the '90s, but I used to love going to Ryan's, going to Corral Wyatt's, y'all. Still, I, don't, I ain't see Stevie B's till I got here in Atlanta. But you from Georgia? You just bought you some Tommy. Do they still make it, Tommy girl? Shut up. Do they still make cool water? Ooh. But um, what was I about to say? It was Wyatt's used to be so fucking good. Furs? Who know about furs? You gotta be from my area of the country. Y'all yeah, know about furs. I ordered from it from Amazon just to see if it smelled the same. Did it? No, I didn't get Old Country Buffet until I went to Texas. You ordered it from Amazon? Oh my goodness. Was it brand new, Chantel? It was brand new. It was like a brand new bottle. It wasn't like no, oh, I got some from the 90s like mine would have been. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Never heard of furs. Oh, that was some good ass shit. Oh, and you just knew you was fancy at furs, child. My mom used to wrap the desserts in napkins and put them in her purse. Yes, honey. It ain't just your mama. <laughs> it was brand new. Wow. They still making Tommy Girl. It's a classic. It's a classic, girl. It's a classic. How much it cost you? How much it run? It better be $15. Hello. Better not be no hundred. No eighty nine ninety nine either. With the purchase and you get a gift bag and uh uh. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. 
Yes, don't even get me started. Remember panda, panda rings, coin rings? Bitch. Had a panda ring for years. I don't know where it's at. No, a coin ring, not a panda ring. Let me think, what else? And then people start getting them two earrings in their ear. And up here, my mom's like, man, go somewhere with that. You're not doing it. Um, those rings sit down somewhere. Um, nope, none of that. Um, yeah, I paid less than $25 for a nice size bottle. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm. Then my clown suits. We had clown suits when we were little girls. Oh, uh, what else? Well, I'm trying to think of some more trends. Rabbit jackets when, in the 80s. We had rabbit jackets. Um, penny lovers with a penny. Um, Trying to think of shoes. Was Coach popping in the 90s? Or was it? I think it was coming about. It was coming about in the 90s and then it started popping in the early 2000s. Because everybody had sh the Coach shoes in the early 2000s. I mean, when I was coming out of um, college, they had the shoes and the purse to match. Mm -hmm. but I remember Coach when I was in high school too. But it wasn't no kids that had it on, it was only adults. I got a baby picture of me in a clown suit. Yeah. <laughs> Jean Nate, what's that? I don't know what that is. Uh, what was the other name of it? It was called. It was another perfume that was white. It was like a like you you knew it was white white folks. I forgot what the name of it is. Jean Nate, I don't remember that one. And what is the name of it? I don't know. I used to wear the Hawaiian button up shirts with the cargo shorts and the high socks. Really. <laughs> Yeah, that was, I've seen that a little bit. Um, oh, remember Trapper Keepers, y'all? And you had to get you a bomb ass. My mom was not buying into that shit. You had to get you a bomb ass Trapper Keeper to go behind you in your desk. Oh my gosh. Trapper Keepers, um, mechanical pencils. Um, what else did everybody want but supplies? college rule paper because for a while you could still get that that wide not the indian chief not the big chief but it was the wider one but you want to get the college rule of moms that shit cost too much anyway um remember writing in cursive and learning how to write in cursive remember times table and division tables come on girl what mm -hmm. remember coming off a vacation had to write about your vacation Oh my God! Remember when they actually cooked the food in the damn cafeteria? Yeah, I had a five star trapper keeper. Yeah, and the big pencils with the big box of crayons with the sharpener. Okay, come on in. Cabbage Patch Dolls, bring it back. Yes, I only got one. Teddy Ruxpin, my sister got one. Um, what else was the dolls? Cabbage Patch, Teddy Ruxpin, my buddy and kid sister. Until they had Chuck in, and then nobody want to fuck with that shit no more. My buddy and kid sister. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. Then it would be kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, wherever I go. She goes, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister and me. Remember that? Uh-huh. The lunchbox, I used to have a Hey Arnold lunchbox. Okay, Hey Arnold. I wanted the Lisa Frank traffic. I did too. Yes. Oh my gosh. That girl said, yep, black woman, that's 80s. But that girl said, Lisa Frank traffic. Girl, what you know? That girl done took it back, bitch. Oh my gosh. I love that. Ooh. Y'all remember Easter? You was dressed to the lick. You had lace gloves, lace, lace socks, lace panties. Ciao. You had a, a a petticoat girl child. Brooklyn had petticoats too, and Brooklyn was born in 2001. Born in 2001. Baby, please. She had can can, not a petticoat. Can can. Remember can can? Did y'all used to wear pet can cans when y'all were little girls? Yeah, I didn't get it either. Everybody wanted it. My mama always act like we had to have bargain basement shit until my daddy came and my dad was like, mm -mm. But she was a single mom for a little bit for like off and on. Before I was 12, after that, she was married all the time. She would be a single mom and then marry, single mom and marry, single stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but then what was it now? 
Oh, what was I saying? What was I saying? I was talking about Easter. If you had Lisa Frank, you were part of the cool crew, right? Okay, Caucasian usually. Okay, you had slips. You didn't have a can can. They had like a little hoop in it a little bit, and the ruffles and stuff like that that set the dress out. You didn't have a can can dress. Oh, it was a can can slip, and it went under your dresses, girl. We had can cans. Petticoats. Yeah, it's the same as a petticoat. But we call it can cans. It was almost like the can can girls that kick on the river boats and shit like that. Come on now. Come on. Can cans. Ain't nobody call them can cans back in the back in the day. Yeah, let's talk about words too. Um, okay, what else was it? Huffy bike. I had my huffy bike with the with the um basket in the front and then this little basket thing in the back when I used to throw papers. I remember we how much fun we used to, school used to be. Ooh, remember when the food, they used to cook the food? Ooh, what was your favorite food? Mine was the, inch, it was enchiladas. Ooh, this girl made me big by enchilada one day. I wanted mine and hers. I said, you gonna eat your enchilada? She's like, no, she was like, you can beg for it. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> African country medallion, yeah. Them big old like medallions, oh shit, gold medallions, I'll get chained too. Mm -hmm. But the African medallions was leather and different kind of textiles and stuff. Remember, that's that's late 90s. Grand, or for us, it was Grandparents' Day, yeah, Field Day, which was Science Fair, Reading Day, Book. Oh, yes, honey. Oregon Trail on the computer. Yeah, you could go to the book club. And then what was it called? What was the name of the, the little book magazine that used to come? It would be a book fair. What was the name of the brand that you had to buy the books for? I forgot what the name of it was. And you had a little magazine, paper magazine. No, I packed my lunch. All that shit came from hotel. Really? Y'all was too young. I think what well, I think my my age last year would cook food. Last grades would cook food. Cause I think my sister and them, um, uh, maybe in elementary school, but I think about mid junior high and after that they was all frozen. Scholastic bitch. And then what was the name of the um school books? What were the books? Marin or McGraw Hill girl boo with the answers on the back to a couple of them. But if you could get down the process to get the answer to a couple of them, you could answer the other ones. Motherfuckers didn't understand that. I kept on telling them if you go and if you look at the answer for this question, see how that question is the same as the one that we ain't got the answers for, and then learn the process, bitch. Got a dog. McGraw Hill. And remember Scantron test? What? For the state test every year? Scantron. Oh, uh, I remember when they changed the Scantron because first them tests was just in booklets. And then they became Scantron. Girl, all of that. I remember um that purple and white curl juice, carefree curl juice, um, sulfur eight, blue magic, pink oil moisturizer, golden hot curling arms and blow dryer. Um, well, we still have suave, um, suave, head and shoulders. All the black girls that didn't know, have no hair, they used to wash their hair and mane and tail thinking they was gonna have long horse hair, never. Um, Mazzani was out. I remember Mazzani came out when I was in high school. That's when everybody started using Mazzani. Hair rep. I ain't never heard of that. Did you ever get the CDs in the mail that you didn't pay for? No, but other people did. Other people did that too. Ooh, come on, Amelia Bedelia and Babysitter's Club. Baby, don't even get me started. Babysitter's Club was my ultimate. Like that was a book that I would have my mom pay, pay for at those scholastic fairs. Hair rip grease. I never heard of that. Motions came out. Ooh, yes. In that yellow bottle. Yes, honey. Post five motions was the bomb perm and a way nouveau if you wanted to act like you was mixed. Keith, I remember CD players. I used to hate when you scratch it and it would start skipping. Yeah. Who is Keith? Sure. I didn't see Keith. Oh, did you ever get okay? That's who asked that. Okay. Oh, um, hey Keith. And so, uh, the names, like I told you, you was fine if your name was Keith or Maurice. 
You see, his name is Keith. But back in the day, you would find your name was Keith or Maurice. Remember I said that just a while ago? Yes, yeah, Sweet Valley High. Don't play, don't play, don't play. Goosebumps, all of that. Okay. Um, The girls, all the girls wanted to be Latoya. was Latoya, y'all girls. It was a lush, uh, bond type of shit like that for the girls. Remember that short at the top, the mullet, the black girl mullet? Mm, that's 90s all day. Keisha was a 90s name. It really was. Keisha, Misha, and Nisha. Keisha, Misha, and Nisha was the 90s name. Yes. Yep. Um. Whew. Octavia, they was ghetto too. Octavia's. Octavian's. Stuff like that. Um, the black boys' names was Dexter and Dorian and Brian and shit like that. And Mika, yeah. So, Keisha, Nisha, Misha, and Mika. Yep, you're right. Not gonna lie, I used to have the biggest crush on Brandy and Beyonce. My mom says I used to call Brandy my girlfriend. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. I wasn't in. I was just like Brandon Adams back in the day. And then that dude who used to play, he got killed, shot in the car. And he was on Moesha, I believe, at one time. He was cute to me, too. Uh, I love me some immature. Um, I told you, my boyfriend in 96, 97, 98 looked just like. Batman. They look like twins. To this day, they still look like twins. Just old, older twins. Well, Batman looked better because, you know, he's a celebrity. celebrity, So he's able to maintain his face and stuff like that, but a little bit better. His skin and stuff. Yes. Um, another bad creation. Aisha, you are the girl that I never had. And I want to get you know you better. Yes. It's Aisha. Yes. That's when pizza rolls, remember, you really thought, your mama was really doing something sweet to you if she went and bought you some pizza rolls because she act like they was all expensive all the time. Pizza in the sun, pizza in the morning, pizza in the morning, time pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can get pizza anytime. Okay, let's do commercials. It's shake and bake and I help. Remember that? Um, now, this is regional, but if somebody's from Dallas, bump on west way for west way forward <laughs> i think his name was marlon santana yeah that's his name he was the um steve harvey show too right that's exactly what i'm talking about um yes what's some other commercials i love the 90s men singers the 90s men were just so masculine more masculine. If you look back, they looking a little silky and shit. They had the shit, the silky silk suits blowing in the wind and stuff. And they had uh, they had Duke, Duke curls in their hair, and they had conked their hair, but it was Duke. It wasn't no perm. And it just, they had sighs and shit like that, especially in the early nineties. You better check it out. You better check it out. I do have a question. Since y'all didn't have phones in the nineties, how did y'all keep in touch or know where to meet up? I know y'all had landlines, but still, did y'all really have to plan stuff out? Yeah. You say, I'm going to meet you on Saturday at so-and-so, so-and-so. Especially if you're on restriction, you can't get on the phone. That's all you do. Meet me at so-and-so, so-and-so. Or you'll say, I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to come back out at 5 o'clock. Yep. I'm about to go in the house and go in there. We gotta, I'm going to be at church. We usually get out at 2.30, so y'all meet me at the park at like 4.30. It was easy. I don't understand what folks are going to be asking me little stuff like that sometimes. I don't understand what what you don't get. <laughs> that texting shit, it, I think folks are texting for a year before I start texting. I ain't like texting. Mm -mm. I thought that was fake. Texting was fake. And they was texting about everything early, like, happy birthday and shit. I'm like, oh, no, uh-uh. Had pay phones on the corners. Yeah, 25 cents. And then there was like a way you could do the pay phone. You could call on this for free child, please. Don't play, okay? <laughs> do kids still pass notes with the fancy foldings? Oh, uh, where you go in, out, in, out. You pick the things and then it, you open it. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Karyomi or something like I forgot what that was called. 
uh, Yamaguchi, something like that. You, yeah, we used to meet up at the park and stuff. Yeah, we did plan, exactly. Yep, or then you would know after a while, like, who, what time folks usually are outside. Yep. We passed notes, we did mash. We uh we play played this clock kind sophisticated ladies, sophisticated ladies. Well my name is Chelsea and I'm slim and fine. It takes forty-eight niggas just to blow my mind. If you don't like my apples, don't you shake my tree because I have your nigga chasing after me. Bitch. We was in fifth grade. Oh my God, those were the good old days. These kids are boring. Yeah, ain't they? Okay, okay. Well, now that I think about it, I guess I did have to with my friends before we had cell phones. I just can't remember. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your mama crap, your soda crap, your BTI, your booty hole, your mama, your daddy, your greasy granny got holes in the penny, got a big behind like Frankenstein going beep, beep, beep down Sesame Street now. Huh, what you got to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be thinking Oklahoma, but baby, we was blickety black, black, blackety blick, blick. Yeah, um, a homegirl of mine, she used to be on a d double Dutch team. Yeah. Yeah. And that you, that you, G L Y, ooh, you ain't got no alibi, child. You ugly. Uh, uh, your mama said you ugly. Hey, don't even give me a start. <laughs> I don't got no dream phone board game. I wanted something. I don't remember that. Oh, kickball, dodgeball, shoot, yes. Neighborhood, the whole neighborhood playing hide and go seat, racing down the street, yep. I had all the board games. Okay, girl. Shoots and ladder, Candyland. I had Candyland. Um, of course, Monopoly is old as hell. Um, what's the one that you hit? Oh, oh, I wanted Operation so bad. Oh no, my auntie had Operation, but it was an old one. But my mom wouldn't get me the new one. Um, and then uh, what's the one? Hungry, hungry hippos, bitch. What else was the girl? Don't get me started. Um, what else is out there? Um. Oh no, of course. Um, that's it, Candyland. Shoots and ladders. Sorry. That's that's the gist of most of what we was trying to get. So was your high school experience similar to Moesha and sisters? Yeah. Minus the stepmom or meeting a twin sister in the mall. Yeah, it's about the same. Add Blossom in there for me, because you know I'm from Oklahoma too. Sorry, Uno Trouble Operation. Yeah, Operation, Operation, yeah. Oh, I kind of remember that commercial for Bop It. Y'all ain't even said no damn commercial. Y'all remember? Co um, show, bitch, pizza, work, it can be a kid. What's the other stuff? Um, what's the other stuff that used to be? Um, she got legs for them, um, for the stockings. And she know how to use them for leg stockings. She got legs. And she knows how to use them. Okay. Uh, see, that's when commercials commercials. What else? Um, we commercial now, Dookie. Um, uh, what else was it? Um, that was out there. Oh. <sighs> I used to like these Eminem commercials, but I can't remember any of them. Oh, hey, how many licks does it take to the to get to the center of a tissy pot, the world may never know. Remember that? <laughs> oh, just for me, um, detangling and fry free or whatever it is. Just for me, yeah, yeah. Uh, daddy, S D I F R and we. Just for me, lot no lie conditioner. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, come on now, okay. I still won't remember the Surge soda commercial. Okay. I don't know about no Surge. I ain't a part of that. Um, then it was just for me. And then what was the other one? Jesse. Hold on. <clears throat> just hit the corner store. You know what I'm looking for. Say nice. Come on. 
Well, I got me some Seagram gems. Everybody want, got their cuss, but they ain't chipped in, okay? Snoop Dogg. Dogg. My mom used to hate when I used to sing, just hit the corner store. You know what I'm looking for. Say it out. So baby, please. <laughs> They did. Ain't nobody, nobody else know any other commercials. Just hit the chorus. Yes, yes. <sighs> Y'all remember Black Opal um, and Fashion Fair makeup? Mary Kay, just all the black folks. Well, they ain't black on, but that's what the black folks wore. Calvin at McDonald's. Calvin got a job. He does. He's like, down at McDonald's. Yes, come on, Calvin at McDonald's. And Calvin was fine because he was the boy off of um, 227 at first. The first Calvin was the boy off of 227, right? I think so. Yes, honey. Ooh, Avon Skin So Soft. Yes, come on, come on. Avon skin so soft. What other food was it? Pizza rolls. <laughs> I was just remember I wanted pizza rolls so bad. Yeah, um, pizza rolls, and then what was them things called? That it was a a toaster strudel. Bitch, remember the toaster strudels came out. Bitch, we was like, do it, do it, do it, do it. Got to have some toaster strudels. My mama liked them, so she would splurge. What does she call? My mama liked to make everything from scratch. Everything was from scratch. She didn't do a lot of um, process back in the day. Um, Dunkaroos, Kame soup, oh, Olive Olay, or uh, and Carrie so berry. Remember that? Mm hmm. And uh, what is it? Calgon, take me away. Remember Calgon soap? I remember Dunkaroos, but I don't think I never had none. Um, They're great. I used to eat Frosted Flakes all the time. Cheerios, Fruit Loops. I didn't get all that extra shit. Like you start fucking with some cinnamon toast crunch or shit, child. No, um, that's too that's just too wild, too too crazy for me. Uh, what else was crazy out there? Oh, I oh my me and my mom used to love some Rice Krispie Treats chocolate. Oh my gosh, don't play with it. Uh oh, here goes somebody else. Be car said Coke. I like to. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, it's that, and it's like all that symphony into that. I like to teach the whole world to sing in perfect. Oh, I know that song. I can't get the tune in my head. Hot Pockets was the shit too. Hot Pockets, okay. Um, damn, that is, let me think. I like to teach the whole world to sing. Damn, and I'm on my phone too. In perfect. I remember that song. Yes, Cokes, that was nice. I like that one, yeah. Give it to Mikey, he'll eat anything. Yep, that used to be the Mikey in my family. That's what I remember when my big mama and all her sisters would cook at the big holiday events and all our family would be together, yeah. B. Carter, you done did something because I know the song, I can't catch the harmony. I like to teach the whole world. Child, I can't, I'm trying to catch it. Tricks. Did I eat tricks? No, what was the other yellow puff? Corn puffs, yeah. Captain Crunch, ooh, that used to be the bomb. I don't know about no snaps. Waffle Chris, no, 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 no. Tricks are for kids, yeah. Ooh, that was some good old commercials. Smurfs, yeah, we used to have Sunday dinners, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, what else? Hmm, strawberry shortcake, rainbow bright. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't eat them. I remember what they were. I might have got Brooklyn a box of those one time. Yep, tricks up for kids, yep. Oh, what else? Care Bear Stare, yes. I miss the good old days with family, yep. Care Bear Stare, yes. I really wasn't in the Care Bear. Yeah, I was. I watched. I didn't watch that. I watched the movies, but I didn't watch the TV show that like that. So it was a snack pack. 
He man and Shiva didn't watch that, but my brother did. Hey, PB, what are we talking about, child? We all into nostalgia. I think we didn't ran in the hole, but jump in. Um, um, Chips Ahoy had good, yeah, with the little key, the Keebler el elves and stuff like that. Ooh, oh, and dunk, 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 dunk. Dun 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 what? Dun 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 Laugh your cares away Worries for another day Laugh the tears away Boom boom Down in Fraggle Rock Ooh, that used to be my shit. And the little the little people that used to make them straw bridges and stuff, them clear straw bridges. I was like, I'm gonna be an engineer. <laughs> I'm gonna make me some bridges. So I used to love me some Fraggle Rock on Saturday on HBO. Oh my goodness. Dun, 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 dun. I remember TJIF Friday and all the shows was on there. Everywhere you look, everywhere. there's a heart, there's a heart, a hand to hold on to. Everywhere you look, well, you lost out there and you're all alone. Light is waiting to carry you home. Everywhere you look, da -da -da -da. yeah, <laughs> big comfy couch. I don't know what that is. I remember the Kool-Aid commercials and drinking Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. I'm 50. I grew up with J.J. Doll, Good Times TV show, Toy Month. Oh, a J.J. Doll? They had a J.J. Doll. Wow. That you could pull the string and he would say, Dynamite, shut up. I'm scared. If I'm guessing, LOL, the, the triangle-shaped ices, orange for me, in those snack boxes. Do I remember that? It's like a push-up pop, right? Do I remember that? Yeah. And my big mama used to have those pug juices at the house. With the, it's like a little barrel. Yes, the little barrel juices. It would, it, they, 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 you drink one of them little barrel juices right now, baby. It's two swallows. Well, that would be good with a meal back in the day. It lasts you the whole meal. The grape and blueberry were the good. I can't do no grape. It used to, the grape used to come through my nose. I couldn't. I couldn't do the great one, no, baby. Uh-uh. Electric Company. I remember that. I've heard of them. I didn't watch them, but I've heard them, and I've seen them on, like, Nick at Night and shit like that. Captain Kangaroo and The Science Show. 321 Contact. Do I remember that? No, I think I feel like I remember that. And The Bloodhound Gang, Solving Mysteries. Shut up, child. Y'all was getting it. That's when the shit on TV was good and wholesome. Yes, Kool-Aid had good commercials. Yes, the Kool-Aid man. Remember the squeeze juices with the twist off top? Yeah, I do. And you twist. Yeah. I remember watching the Family Matters um, and Step by Step episode that was 3D and you had to have 3D glasses. Shut up. But see, back in the day, they did have interactive shit like that. It was cool as fuck, wasn't it? Yeah, but I don't remember doing no 3D for the TV, though. Hugs, juices. But I'm, I I wouldn't doubt it because I went to 3D movies and was like, oh, wow. We call them Huggies, the barrel juices. Really? I just saw Diana eat something up. Really? On the TV show? Like on the show? Yeah, I gotta wait till I get home. I'm in a hotel right now. Well, they they playing games. I'll roast that hoe. Capri Suns was the bomb. Remember, you can eat you can use a Capri Sun at, at dinner time too. Now Capri Sun, you go, it's gone. Okay. Um, fun dip powdery stick. I used to those were gross to me. And pixie sticks. And remember the cigarettes, the candy cigarettes, bitch. And remember them um them necklaces that you go like this all day and eat off of them was some nasty ass candy. If you're gonna do something that's so cool like that, why would the candy be nasty? Yeah, what's up? My bad. My bad. There were they were called hugs. Okay, yeah. I'm just listening to your live from Monday. I don't know why you get that dog, why you got that dog. We said how stressed she was with the last one. I know. And it's going to be hard for me to get rid of her, but she's on her way out. I used to get the National Geographic magazine. Oh, girl, you know, I'm a National Geographic state champion, honey. I ain't play with that. I ain't fuck around. Okay. Cool A, cool A came in the jug with the cartoon face, um, LOA, and they copied Capri Suns in the, yeah, when they put a straw in. You're right, yeah. 
Read the comics in the Sunday paper. I didn't do a lot of that at a hotel. You having a Mercedes experience? Kind of. Make sure you leave with the bag. Okay, I know that's right. <laughs> fruit stripe gun. Yeah, fruit stripe gun. Stick us up and do they want. That I'm running. I'm going around. Fruit stripe gum. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Stick a stack of fun. It's the chicken. Everyone, whatever. Yeah. Used to eat the whole pack at one time. So come on. Andrew, we coming through with old nostalgic shit and stuff like that. What's the commercial you remember? I need to stop because I do need to go ahead and go ahead on the shade. Hold on. Y'all remember those Minute Maid? Oh, I used to love Minute Maid. So that was some good ass shit. They was rich and thick. Wasn't they? Well, they weren't thick, but they were rich. Flavorful. The orange ones were the best. Yeah. Chico sticks, gross. Peanut peanut flavor, hand hey, candy. I can't. Now, ladies, yes. No, I ain't messing no moon piles. Yeah. Okay, okay. The Highlights magazine. Ooh, they used to be the bomb at home. What was so fun about Highlights? I remember that. And I remember even in the doctor's office in the, for the kids, they would have Highlights magazine. What was so fun about that? It was something that came in every episode, every magazine edition. I was looking for edition. That was, that was particular. It was all the time that I really liked about it. A puzzle. Where's Waldo? I don't know. Andrew got my business. Mystic juices. Dogs are animal burdens. LOL, I'm just saying. I would never hurt one, but they're burdens. You have to love dogs more than logic to, uh, to not understand. Yep. Yeah, I've heard of knee high sodas. Everybody likes the peach one. Everyone used to go up for the peaches. We had. We had Neha and uh, uh, no, we have Shasta more though. Shasta, those herbal essences commercials when the, those women would wash their hair, yeah, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, uh, it sound all sexual, yeah. Let's see now, that's long. That that's that's getting back when it, when it's, everything starts getting perverted. We trying to go back to when everything was sweet, okay. <laughs> but maybe herbal essences did kind of come out when I was in college, I think. Light bright, where you had to stick the lights in. Light bright, light bright. Turn on the magical shining lights. Girl, don't even get me started. I, I love jingles and shit like that. That's why I can put together stuff. Look, for those of y'all been watching me for a long time, remember when I was driving in my car about four, five, six years ago, and I made a hey on the spot. Like, I didn't have no words together. It was as I was saying, it just came out. Hey, Bonafides and YouTube otherwise. It's me, see me, Ted, and I'm back. It just all came out. Back with another video. And if you're in here, you're good to go. Because I always love jingles and commercials and theme songs. Remember when shit had real good theme songs? That's why I like, um, when you're in the garden, do, 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 you better watch your back. Well, I beg your pardon. I'm seeing the single two, season two. Well, you stay, stay on the straight and narrow path. Because when you walk in the garden, I forgot the word, but y'all know I'm talking about the wire. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the scholastic book club. That's what we were talking about. We used to love to go to book club. Mama, but I ain't getting no books off that. She go get, go to the library. And if you ordered several, you could get one for just a little measly one. Right. Okay. Though he right. Those chips are hard commercials too. Somebody else said that when they would play the music. Ooh, what's y'all, what's the words to some of it? See, I should have, I should have been on a um, string yard so y'all could, we'll do this again one day. The doodle bears we could draw on and wash. Yeah. I think Baby Alive came out in the nineties. It did. It came with baby food and packets, yeah. Rabdar gap, rab the gap. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> yeah, you'd be buying it. And then remember during uh during Christmas, they would have a whole store set up for a week. That shit was overpriced. Wood yeah. <laughs> that Woody Woodpecker. Mighty Mouse, Looney Tunes, I always hoped that one, just at least one of Wally E. Cody's acne traps would work on the road runner. I know that's right. I used to be so scared of Unsolved Mysteries. Baby, yes, Unsolved Mysteries used to be scared, scary. Um, 
the Twilight Zone used to be scary for me. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, with De David Welsh. Yeah, somebody else mentioned Lisa Frank. Oh, they probably calling me to be quiet. Hold on. I'm talking about Damn, I probably was getting too loud. Damn, that didn't piss me off. I don't even want to do nothing no more. We can't have the fun with the fuck we want to have, okay? Andrew needs to get Wendy's and Pizza Hut certificates for reading 25 books to I be here. Yes. And remember the jump of heart? Remember the jump of heart? I'm doing good. Thank you. This is Penny Christmas edition of the catalog. I love your hair. Thank you. <clears throat> Yeah, ooh, rescue number one. I know body child, you know how it is. Yes, we were talking about them personal pants. Yes. Ooh, you used to have your birthday at Pizza Hut. I didn't, but other people did. My sister had one birthday at Pizza Hut. I think I pissed it off. Okay, yeah, I didn't watch it back then. Law and order, traffic. We talked about that. And you get to where your traffic you sit your traffic keeper behind you in the um in the desk, and everybody wanted to see it. And my mom was like, "Did you still got your traffic keeper from last year?" I bought Brooklyn new shit all the time. Yes, the mat, the mesh pitch pick was good. The mesh, mesh pit, mesh pit was fun. The the balls, the mesh pit, yeah. You know. Girl, we did all that. Where was y'all at? We went through all the shit. Shoes and ladders, um, Candyland. Sorry, we just went through that like five minutes ago. <laughs> we went through that. So what up? Okay. Um, Signing yearbooks at school and being nosy, read what other people wrote. Yes. <laughs> Y'all remember taking a picture, but you couldn't see it? You just took the picture. You had to finish taking all of them. And that shit used to be kind of expensive. You had to take your whole roll, like a 24 roll, a 12 roll, or a 36 roll, right? And then so you just took the picture and there it was. And then you get you would get a whole roll full of bullshit sometimes. <laughs> And you had to go turn it in somewhere like at Walmart, Kmart, or a pharmacy or something like that. And they would take like five, seven days just to develop the film. Then you come and get your picture. They all bullshit. You sign your books and t-shirts at school. My auntie loved Ricky Lake and Jerry Springer. And what was the other white lady with the glasses? Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Who remembers Alexander with the genie ball? And pretty, pretty princess with the jewels. I don't remember them. Montel, Sally, Jesse, Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and Mari. Yeah. But do y'all remember taking pictures? I miss hard pictures. I don't, I don't like the pictures being in the phone. 35 millimeter film to develop, and you saw your crazy fingers in the way, or double exposed picture where you took pictures again over a roll of film. Mm hmm. That was my shit. I think I remember Pretty Pretty Princess. I don't know what that is. How old are y'all? How old are you, pretty? Um, Private Eye. You younger than me. 
Because Indy is younger than me. Indy is 10 years younger than me, I think. Okay, there we go. Hold on. There we go. Yes, remember getting hard pictures and, write, and writing captions on the back of the handout. Yep. Ain't that a trip? Ain't no filters. No filter, but it was what it was. I used to get mad, but my shit would come back. Every, every picture would be fucked up. Yeah. Shit, I still got two poles left to go get developed. I didn't go get it done. I just found them one day. They probably jacked up heat. You know, you can leave them in heat and shit like that. All the funny, wholesome shows. Amen. Two, two, seven, family ties, growing pains. Yeah. Well, you can get, yeah, you can get them Polaroid ones. They still $199. Polaroid a couple years ago came where you could take a picture and it comes straight out. They still hire. B. Carter, yes, to develop and film. Once I took a pic of Jay-Z and got them developed at Walmart and they were stolen. I only knew because they weren't in my prints, but there was a negative. Wow. Big ass Beetle apples. I love that. I have a lot of pics of the child. Me too. Mm. That's, no, I have my pics as a teenager and all that stuff like that. The pics as a child are right, still in Oklahoma. Coach by Angel, uh, Ang, Angel of Madlock, Diagnosis Murder, Little House on the Prairie, yes. Highway to Heaven. And then what was the one with them? It was a white family. And the man got accused of touching the kids at some point. I think, I think that was something. What was it called? And they had a big family. I didn't watch that, but I know what y'all are talking about. I might have seen a couple episodes. Then, what else was it? Ooh. Yes, seventh heaven. Yes. Yep. But y'all look, I'm about to go. Cause they didn't rain on my motherfucking parade. But this is the video for yesterday, Wednesday, the 13th. And then I'll come back on today for today. Yeah, seven heaven did have a nice theme song. Um I'll comment on my my um community page. And we, yes, it was great reminiscing. Um, see, you're talking about that, that young stuff, Callaloo. Yeah, Callaloo. Boy meets world. That's right. Smart guy. I'm kind of getting old at that point. Dragon Tales and all that. Mm -mm. Babies and family and Disney. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good night, y'all. Thank y'all for stopping by. But look, I'll post like what we're talking about tonight on my um, community feed. And y'all can just tell me different stuff you want me to look up during the day and talk about when we talk tomorrow. Okay? Okay, y'all. Here's to multi-generational culture, fun, and reminiscing. Cheers.